What is up guys, welcome into this new video of TechSpress. I'm going to be showing you really easy for beginners how to get started with HubSpot. If you haven't used HubSpot before, I'm going to be showing you what exactly we can do here into the HubSpot. It's a really, really great application to manage and control your sales, your account, your business into just one place. So in order to get started, hit into app.hubspot.com and create your account. Once you have created your account, it's going to be showing you something like this. What would you like to do with HubSpot first? So what you're going to be earning here, what we can be doing here is to track some deals to create some performing sales or to send marketing emails to potential customers. It's going to be really, really great to use this app. So um, you want to get started with sending marketing emails to potential customers. And as you can see, we they can actually help us with templates, campaigns and do it independently. If we wanted to track deals into one place, they have the sales pipeline. We have the real life milestone and the records to capture the key of how we can drive into some sales so focus into the very upper side or you can start without an actual a specific goal so now i'm going to be showing you how does the actual dashboard of the hotspot so it's going to be showing us the dashboard of the hotspot so as you can see we have the deals of our account how many close data we have doing so far how many amount of the currency we have earned through our all company we have the revenue of our goal we have here down here we do have how many uh let's say conversions of qualified appointment contract sent and close we have done so far through the last month and it's going to be showing me more elements now in here into the upper side we have the context here into our context we can add let's say an on sign we can identify the customer people we can add let's say for example attempt to be qualified you want to add your new customers you want to add like your new uh employees and we can add more much more if I click into a specific contact, this one should be showing me uh, all the overview about this actual people person. We have the post, the last name, we have the email, we have the phone number, and we have the contact owner. We can have uh, added some notes here. So managing all our employees in our customers should be really, really easy into our actual HubSpot. So, Let's go into I'll do this later without some data. I'm going to hit into let's go. I'm going to hit into skip for now. And check it out here into the right part that we have the HubSpot step in order to get started here. So we can import our own data. We can import, uh, let's say, more elements here. We can customize our deal stages. I'm going to skip this for now. Once again, let's go back into our dashboard. And as you can see, we have different dashboards that we can create totally from scratch. So as you can see, we have the chat overview, the email overview, the marketing overview, and the marketing channel performance. We have sales, sales manager, uh, service, custom service, website, business engagement, and much more. So I'm going to focus now into website visit and engagement since that is my actual goal with the actual HubSpot. So I'm going to hit into next. Uh, I'm going to go with create the dashboard. I have this name of my dashboard. I'm going to hit into go to my dashboard. And this one should be showing me the new elements that we have just generated as we were starting here. So as you can see, we have the filtered dashboard of how many people just clicked in here, how many people visited my website, how many people make the landing pages, the session totals by the country, the website visitors, and all of that. So if I wanted to manage my actual dashboard, I'm going to go into the upper side, it says manage dashboard, or to filter my dashboard to see more or less elements as we are checking the reports. Now let's focus into marketing. Inside marketing, we can create ads email, landing page, a custom website. We have the social studio campaigns and design tools. So let's focus into email. If I focus into email, this one should be sending me into start sending emails for free so I can go and get started here. So by choosing an actual, let's say email, let's say I'm new to email, MailChimp or choose another provider. This one should be, let's say, helping you to import all your customers email into just one place. So whether you want to do this automatically or do this manually. So I'm going to go and skip this setup. I'm going to skip this setup for now. I'm going to hit into create my email. And here, let's say that I want to create a regular mail for my customers. So here's going to be showing me different templates that I can choose once again, totally for free. 
So let's say, for example, that I wanted to choose the elements that are unlocked. So I want to go into the upper side, it basic. So let's go for newsletter. I click the, and it's going to be showing me a preview. So as you can see, now I have this new tool of the artificial intelligence. I don't want to focus a lot into that. The page is available, so I'm going to go into the content and here I can choose a new template. Let's go with the subject line. Let's go for welcome to our newsletter. So this is an example, uh, the language, the description type, the plain text. So we have the send and or schedule sent to and we can add our contact in here, which is import them and don't send to. And lastly, we have the automation. So the automation is going to be helping us to, let's say, figure out what's going to be happening after we uh, sent the email. So after that, just go into review and send and hit into send. So it's going to be really, really easy to use this tool. Now, after we go here, if I focus into the conversation to the upper side, if I go into my inbox, check it out that we can connect different channels into just one place. So I can connect a live chat of my website. I can manage messenger conversations in here, forms and all of that. So let's click into Facebook Messenger, for example, and here's going to be asking us to sign into our Facebook account in order to check it out how it's going to be looking uh, our chats directly from the actual Facebook into HubSpot. And this is how we can manage our actual HubSpot, our company, our branding logo stuff into just one place of the actual HubSpot. I'm going to close this just now and I'm going to go now back into my sales and check it out some different deals. So as you can see, there's a lot of elements that we can choose in order to have really great advantage. Depending on what is the actual main goal of your business, I can totally suggest you to check it out. What are the templates that can be helping us to get started totally for free? Setting up our house put account step by step is going to be showing us is going to be helping us, uh, let's say, to add all the elements that we do wanted to see once again depending on what are we what are our goals inside HubSpot. so with that being said guys we have not reached into the very end of the video so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you wanted to see more great tools of how you can get started with the HubSpot cms hub totally for free thank you so much for watching the video guys hopefully i can see you next time